<laughs> Yay, everyone. Welcome to our 14 days of empowered dating. Thank you for being here. For those of you watching the replay, yay, I'm so glad you're catching this. And I'm going to give it a minute for the people on the live to join. But as you're here, begin to just arrive, consciously arrive. And I say that as a way to really land here like you're showing up for a date with someone you're really excited about. So I like to say that for all of our sessions that we arrive in this way. And we will begin with an opening for this 14 days to support us in creating something very different. So if you are joining, say hello in the comments or say hello on the replay. I want you to know that these next 14 days are designed to completely change how you be dating. And we're going to be breaking a lot of the the funk up and and letting go of of the parts of dating that aren't serving you and it may be different for each of you or it may not be um but i just wanted to share my best teachings and strategies over these next 14 days so that dating becomes something that is invigorating. I named it empowered dating because when you're an empowered dater, what you know at the core is that you are the most powerful being and that there's no bad date, no wrong person, no weird message, no whatever like day that you go out and look and see there's no interesting ones that day that will be a problem for you. And that's when we can actually change our whole experience. So we're not swayed. We're not on this emotional roller coaster. We're not getting sucked into, we're not baiting our inner critics with any of this stuff anymore because the inner critics will want to come in and, and make up a sad story. And when we buy into that, then we are taken off course. So today we're going to start with a special little practice to release some things. So if you're here, say hello. I'm not seeing anyone joining yet, so I'm hoping this is working. I'm hoping you can hear me well. Post in the comments, say hi, and we will begin by creating a new reality around dating. Yay, hi, okay, good. Let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm so glad you're here. I know for some people this format is is different and new and I'm hoping that everyone can find this and jump on. All right. So creating a new reality when it comes to dating, I think of it as like a new paradigm because what dating, the dating phase, first of all, you can't get to your love relationship without it. So dating is part of the courting process, part of how we get to know someone, really the sifting and sorting to 
qualify people and be the be choosing someone who actually aligns with your world. So when we look at what it actually is, it reminds us that we are the choosers. You are the one who is choosing. And I can already hear it. I know it's, you know, there's topics of ghosting and rejection and, you know, I really like this one and they disappeared. What about that? And all of that, which we'll, we'll talk about in these 14 days. <clears throat> but I'll tell you right now that none of that is about you and none of that is a problem for you, ultimately. I get that it can push a bruise, it can be a sensitive experience, and you are still the chooser. You are the chooser. And so when you're reminding yourself and empowering yourself in this process, then you don't have to like go into this sense of scarcity or the angst that comes with, oh my God, is there something wrong with me? We just don't even go there ever. And we're, we'll deal with all of these things. I'm kind of giving an overview of what it is that we're going to be playing with in these 14 days so that, you know, we can start setting our trajectory to step into a place where this part of the experience, the dating experience is actually nurturing and fun and playful and what it's meant to be because we actually get to date. And this is a cool thing that just popped into my world the other day. It's like, we get to the things that we're, we're doing. I mean, you don't have to date. You don't have to do that. But if you truly want to have that person in your life, that person to share your life with, then this is a choice. And what points of view can you play with with this that actually enliven it and make it a fun experience. So when we're aware that we can, we have this, we're choosing to create this in our life, then what are the energies we can bring to it that make it more fun and make it something that doesn't have to be a fight or a problem? A lot of times, it's easy to fall into this world's and this reality's way of thinking and being. And the predominant energy around dating on the planet is drama, is judgment, is struggle and horror stories. I mean, that tends to be where things flow. If you talk about online dating in a conversation, I mean, if you've been in my community before or very long, you know that I bring this up a lot because it is something to be aware of that most people tend to go to the negative. There is a negative bias here. So knowing that there's a negative bias, which means most people are going to point to all of the reasons that it doesn't work in the same way that a lot of times when you talk to someone in this in this global climate that we're in people immediately go to you know politics or pandemic or what's not working or you know pain and ailments <laughs> that can be a default point of connection with people. So it's just helpful to notice that. 
Hi, I'm so glad you're here. It's helpful to notice what people the people will do in the world. And, you know, it's kind of like talking about the weather. That's oftentimes people will just go to talk about the weather. You don't have to be that with, you don't have to be all of the things that are floating around with dating anymore. You don't have to choose that. So that's why I created the series is because I am here on a mission to change this. Because when you change this and you change the way you look at dating, dating changes. Your dating experience will change. And so what does that look like? It looks like not going into the sad stories if someone doesn't work out or if you aren't meeting a lot of people right in this moment. It does. It means really having that discipline and grit with yourself to honor your desire for love and be an advocate for yourself in that way. Nobody else is going to do it for you. I mean, I'm going to do it for you, but I'm not going to be there with you 24-7 in your head. <laughs> so, although some people say I am sometimes. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm not going to be in your head 24-7, you know, directing this. But I'm hoping that this 14 days will start creating new grooves in your consciousness so that you can have something different. So the new reality, the new paradigm of dating is a playing into love. It's, you know, living in love now. So living in love now means you, you acknowledge the love that's around you right now. It's choosing those things that inspire you, that lift you up, that nurture you. And it may be a nap. It may be taking an art class. It may be moving your body. It may be calling a girlfriend. It may be cuddling with your big kitty cat or something. So whatever the thing is, that that's part of this time. And I love this space of dating because, well, it's temporary. It's a temporary thing. It's a season. And in this space, you get to have things that you don't get to have in a relationship. So what part of this can we start getting excited about that we haven't been willing to acknowledge before? And really consider that as you're here listening to these words, like what part of this space wants to be acknowledged what what's in this space that you haven't seen yet because maybe you've bought into some of the you know heaviness or disappointment or stress or pressure around dating and that's not something to beat yourself up over but just notice there's actually another way and even when the disappointment arises or the sadness arises or the like, wow, I really like that person. I'm not saying you have to be like emotionless, but the emotions bring information. And can you make a choice right now to be present with the emotions that arise and and listen to the messages that they bring when we feel excited about someone or and it doesn't doesn't turn out the way we were hoping and we feel that disappointment that's one more like that's fuel let's say that's fuel for your desire it's saying, hey, this really matters to me. This really matters to me. 
Same with jealousy. Like if you're dating and you, you know one of your friends meets someone great and now they're out of the dating pool and you're like, wow, I wish that was me. The reason why that it like stings is because it is meant for you. It's something that has this, this resonance with it that's like, ah, oh, that. It's hitting a desire within you. So rather than feel like, oh my God, I'm this sucks, I'm jealous, and blah, 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 or maybe you don't even want to admit it, you can say, whoa, this is meaningful to me. This is this is aligned for me. This is something I truly desire. And by by acknowledging that, you can say, yes, I'm having that. I'm having that. Me too. <laughs> that is for me too. And that really is the divine message of those moments is that, yes, that is meant for you too. And, you know, let that be the fuel to not give up, not give up. And so, you know, this space can be interesting because it can be, um, well, first of all, it's space. It is an interesting space. And there's, there's a lot of um, magic that can be had here. So what can you start playing with that works for you in making this an adventure in this temporary space that we call dating. And so during these 14 days, I'm gonna give you some more practices, some practical things, some woo-woo things, some neuroscience things, all of the things that you know build on each other in order for us to emerge from this feeling different. That's what I love about this, this work. It's, it's not feeling better because that's sort of a temporary thing, right? That's a up and down, but it's feeling different. Like I am here to offer you a different way of being and let your body catch up to that. <laughs> so if this feels a little bit like, what the, I don't know how to like, like dating Macy. I don't know how to, what do you mean? I, I'm, of course, this is annoying. Of course, it's frustrating. If you want to be convincing me and yourself that it is a problem, then that's the outcome you get. So I encourage you to do something different. So we're going to play right now with this. So <sighs> take a breath as we settle into our a little energetic practice by bringing your hands into a bowl in front of you. So just seeing this space, this little vessel, and begin to focus your attention on your breath and you can have your eyes open or closed. I think I'm gonna try it with my eyes open. And just as you're noticing anything that's coming up, as you're listening to my words, with each exhale, just releasing all of the energies that keep you from having a different reality with dating. So as you breathe, you can even make that sound as you blow out all of the fears, all of the doubts. Blowing out all of the defenses and judgments. All of the yeah, buts, yeah, but Macy, really. All of the tension, 
all of the tenderness, keep breathing, all of the tenderness, those spaces where it's so, it's the longing, it's the true desire, it's the impatience. Keep releasing all of the things that we can't even name. Keep releasing all of the places and spaces that are holding on to the old because it's scary to move into something new. Releasing. And as all of this moves out, remembering that you are the most powerful being, the most powerful entity in your universe, that you are, keep breathing, you are supported by the creative consciousness, that you are that vessel. So as we're cleaning out, we're cleaning out all of the misunderstandings, all of the projections and expectations from people in the world, from the past, from lifetimes. releasing, releasing all of the, the ickiness, all of the past, all of the, the old, the known, the unknown. And just begin to notice what's being created in your body as you continue to fill up your hands with all that is now moving outside of your being. This bottomless bowl of just, just pouring out Getting it out of your cells, out of your organs, out of your bones, out of your tissues. Out of your energetic bodies. Just noticing the space within you that's being created. A couple more breaths. And then taking a moment to honor all of this. All of this that's in your hands, honoring all of the, the ways that these beliefs and ideas and energies did support us. All of the ways that these things did support us in the times that we tried them on, took them on, bought into them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And knowing that you no longer need this to create your super loved relationship. And on the count of three, we're just going to release them into the universe to be transmuted for greater. So on the count of three, one, two, three. And as you release them, just be aware of 
all of that energy, all of the stuff returning back into the cosmos to be transmuted for greater. That the universe loves recycling. The universe loves that. And noticing now, just even moving your body a little bit, noticing, wow, noticing how different it is to be here now in the space of making a choice. So I ask you right now to make a choice for being an empowered dater. I am an empowered dater. I am choosing empowered dating. I am an empowered dater. I ask, and we'll just ask, I ask that these next 14 days give me the awareness needed and necessary to create my super loved relationship. I'm asking for a super love relationship. I'm asking right now for a relationship that is all that I know in my heart. I know many of you are asking for a person who's available, a person who's kind, a person who is loving, a person who is has so much gratitude for you, a person who is emotionally well, a person who is successful in their, their life, who's creating in the world. And I mean that as financially, emotionally, physically stable. And whatever the things are that you desire, I'm throwing those things out there. There's obviously, you have your own personal things, but the key things are going to be kind, a growth mindset. They're grateful for you. You adore each other. You can rely on them responding to a message. <laughs> so these are the basic things for a healthy, secure relationship. And we'll continue to discuss that further. But just noticing this space right now, post in the comments how it feels right now. So even being able to say to yourself, wow, how it feels right now to be in this space, to be on day one of my empowered dater, dater journey and from this space, sense the anticipation, the anticipation that you have in receiving your super loved relationship, the anticipation of dating in a new reality, dating as a new paradigm where you get to be, have a different point of view. You get to have a different space with it. And how does it get any better than that? I will say this over and over again. How does it get any better than that? And invite you into using that mantra because that mantra, when you ask, how does it get any better than this? The universe answers. No matter what is occurring, the universe will answer. How does it get any better than this? The universe will show you. So if things are bad, say, how does it get any better than this? When things are great, say, how does it get any better than this? And we'll use that throughout our course. So thank you so much for being here at day one. And if you missed the beginning, go back, you can listen to it. And I can't wait to build on this. So your play for today is to be aware of how different you are right now and your choice for being an empowered dater. What's it like to claim yourself as an empowered dater where you don't pick up the complaining, you don't pick up the the rants. You don't pick up 
the sad stories or you don't offer them and you're making a choice for love, choice for love, choice for receiving your super love relationship. And that is very different. That is taking actions that are loving towards you and are little become little breadcrumbs to your amazing love. <sighs> okay. That's it for today. We will see you tomorrow.